Oh hi everyone and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai Channel. Well, the trial and tribulations of trying to grow a bonsai tree from seed. So growing bonsai from seed. Now it is going to take a long time, there's no question. But you know, I like a challenge. And I always think if you start from a young age, if you start a tree from a seed or a seedling, then you have the chance to, to manipulate it over time. And whether or not you use the clip and grow technique or wire, you can gradually train the tree to become the bonsai that you so want it to be in the future. So we can see, I have three little lindens, all growing well, all looking very healthy. I have a silver birch, looking very good, looking very nice. I have two little hornbeams, looking very nice. I have a small little Colorado blue spruce, doesn't look very healthy, uh, but there is green on the tip, so I'm sure that will grow and continue to do well. And then I have the snake bark maples. Now we can see, I only have two at the moment, but there's two little dried up stumps here. Actually, there's more than two, there's about three or four in here. So what happened to these? We're trying to get seeds to germinate is one thing. And whether or not you use different techniques, I mean, with these snake bark maples, I tried three different methods. I tried putting some in the fridge, I tried leaving some outside to undergo the fluctuations of the winter temperatures and also did the kind of a few weeks in the warm, few weeks in the cold, few weeks in the warm and did that and tried to see if that would work. Now all three methods did prove successful. So if that's the case, why do I only have two seeds that have germinated? Well getting seeds to germinate is one thing, but Preventing slugs, snails or mice from eating your seeds or your seedlings, well, that's a completely different challenge. So that was the problem with these seeds and also a few others. So I had beech seeds that germinated and grew, but the snails and the slugs ate them. I had some other lindens that grew, but the slugs and the snails ate them. I had a mouse attack, so a mouse went through and ate a whole bunch of my seeds. You can see these snake butt maples. There's nothing in these. There was originally, but the slugs ate them. So yeah, that's the problem. You know, you can germinate your seeds, but stopping pests and uh, insects and that from eating them, that's a whole other ball game. So I reached out to Jamie over at Keeping It Koi because he was the one who sent me the seeds to begin with and asked him, you know, what do you do and how do you prevent slugs and snails from eating your seedlings? And do you have any advice? And he said, well, I tell you what, Gav, I can do one better than that. Not only can I offer you some advice, I will send you some little seedlings. So this was the little parcel that arrived in the post the other day. And before I show you the trees, uh, he did include a little note, he did include a card, and he did also include a sticker, but I'll show you the sticker later on. So for now, uh, there's this is his card, or oh, it does have his phone number on this side, so I won't show you that, but that's his channel there, Keeping It Bonsai. He does also have another channel, I try to conceal his phone number, Keeping It Koi. I will put both of those channel link or links to both those channels in the description box below. So if you don't know of Jamie, you know, definitely head over to his channel or both of his channels and check out what he does, especially if you like fish and koi. Anyway, that's his card. And he did send me this little note. So in this note here, we have, hey Gav, hope this finds you well. I know you didn't have much luck with your seeds due to slugs and, and mice. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it, Jamie. Wow, yeah. <laughs> so I have enclosed a snake bark maple to replace the seeds that you lost. But I have also included a couple of extra trees, fantastic, that I haven't seen in your collection. There's one box buxus, normally used for hedging or cloud trees, now that's a good idea, cloud tree, and one pivot that I grew from a cutting, and it has a great nabari, brilliant. So keep up all of the good work from Jamie at Keeping It Bonsai and Keeping It Koi. So yeah, Jamie, that's awesome, yeah, fantastic. Well, let's take a look at these trees. So uh, let's, uh, well, let's start with the snake bark maple. And uh, here we have it, the snake bark maple. Fantastic, fantastic little tree, two sets of leaves, or layers of leaves, in good health. Uh, there's a few roots starting to come at the bottom, that's a good sign, full of roots. Uh, brilliant, yeah, thanks so much, Jamie, that's an excellent tree. Uh, let's also take a look at this one. This, I believe, is the privet. Started from a cutting that apparently has a fantastic nabari. Uh, I'm not going to check that out just yet. That will be for more when we go to repot this tree later on. Uh, but again, there's yeah a couple. Well, the indication of a few roots coming out the bottom. That's always a sign of a very healthy tree. Yeah, very nice little tree that one. 
they'll grow into something quite nice in the future. And then this, of course, is the Buxus. Uh, kind of an interesting tree, that one. You have like a trident thing going on there. Three trunks coming from the same point. Not quite sure how we're going to turn that into a bonsai tree. But he did talk about a cloud tree having layers. So, yeah, I think that will be the challenge. We'll give that a go, see if we can turn it into a cloud tree. But yeah, thanks, Jamie. That's excellent. Right, so that will go on there just like so. Excellent. Looking good. Right, so guys, uh, this is my uh, bonsai toolbox. And you can see I have a selection of stickers on here. So we have a bobcat bonsai on the end. Uh, that, of course, is my sticker, not another bonsai channel. Now we have keeping it koi, keeping it bonsai, and then of course we have bonsai Cornwall. So this is this was my aim to really cover this box with stickers. So you know, like the old uh, travel suitcases or trunks that people used to carry around when they used to travel the globe, and they used to have kind of badges and that that slapped on their their boxes or trunks. And you always knew the the most well travelled people because they had a a, a trunk or a, a suitcase or whatever covered in different stickers. And there's always something to kind of like, wow, look at that person, they're well traveled. Well, I thought we'd do that with this. So yeah, if you have a sticker for your channel or you have any sticker you would like to be stuck on this box, send it over to me, send it over and I'll stick it on the box. So that's brilliant, three new trees to add to the collection. So yeah, thanks so much, Jamie. I really do appreciate that. And I do highly recommend that you go over to Jamie's channels and check out his great work. He can be found at Keeping It Koi and Keeping It Bonsai. Links to both of those channels will be down in the description box below. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Only a short one today. But until next time, take it easy. Have a great one. And I will catch you on the next one.